a former Mr. Universe, a three-time Mr. Olympia, he's going to the mix. In the pantheon of bodybuilding legends, there stands a man whose genetics, work ethic, and sheer presence left an indelible mark on the world of muscle and strength. Today, we delve into the life and legacy of Sergio Oliva, a man often referred to as the myth, and for good reason. Born on July 4, 1941 in Cuba, Sergio's journey to bodybuilding stardom was anything but ordinary. A weightlifter turned revolutionary. He used his strength for more than just lifting weights, participating in the Cuban Revolution at the tender age of 16. However, seeking freedom and opportunity, Sergio made a daring escape during a weightlifting competition in Jamaica, defecting to the United States and setting the stage for his rise in bodybuilding. Once in America, Sergio quickly made a name for himself displaying a level of muscularity and symmetry that was simply unheard of at the time. His wide shoulders, tiny waist, and massive thighs set a new standard in bodybuilding. Standing at 5 feet 10 inches and weighing around 240 pounds in competition shape, his physique was a marvel to behold. His chest measured a whopping 52 inches, complemented by an incredibly tiny 27-inch waist. His arms, filled with power and symmetry, stretched the tape measure to 20 inches. Sergio's training was as intense as it was unique, often pushing himself to the limits with heavy weights and high volume. His diet, too, was ahead of its time, focusing on high protein and clean eating to fuel his massive physique. 1969 was a pivotal year in the world of bodybuilding and the burgeoning rivalry between Sergio Oliva and Arnold Schwarzenegger. In this year's Mr. Olympia, a young Arnold, hungry for victory, found himself up against the reigning champion, Sergio. Arnold brought his best, but on that day, Sergio was simply unbeatable. His phenomenal physique outshone even the future governator. In a show of sportsmanship and perhaps a moment of foreshadowing, Arnold gave Sergio a big kiss on stage, savoring the competition and learning from his loss. Sergio had successfully defended his title, but this defeat would only fuel Arnold's fire. The following year, at the 1970 Mr. Olympia, the tables turned. Arnold, now more experienced and strategic, was ready for a rematch, but this time he had a trick up his sleeve. During the intense pose down, Arnold, ever the cunning competitor, decided to play mind games. He subtly suggested to Sergio that he had already secured the victory, leading Sergio to believe he had lost and inadvertently causing him to give up on stage. This psychological tactic worked. Sergio, confused and demoralized, stepped back, and Arnold seized the moment, posing triumphantly. The crowd and judges saw a confident Arnold and a defeated Sergio, which cemented Arnold's victory. This incident became a defining moment in their rivalry. Sergio Oliva, the only man to ever defeat Arnold in the Mr. Olympia, never claimed the title again. Arnold's psychological warfare had paid off, but Sergio wanted payback. According to Sergio's son, Sergio Oliva Jr., the tension reached a boiling point during a guest posing event in Mexico. Sergio openly challenged Arnold and Joe striking poses right in their faces, a bold move that defied the norms and expectations of the time. This act of defiance led to immediate consequences. Joe Whiter, recognizing the potential threat to his competition and its star athlete Arnold, swiftly instituted a new rule prohibiting athletes from competing in other federations. This rule change resulted in Sergio's suspension from the Olympia Though only for a brief period, despite the suspension, Joe Waiter's business acumen came into play. He allowed Sergio to guest pose at the 1971 Olympia, a strategic move that ensured ticket sales remained high, as fans flocked to see the myth in action. This clever maneuver prevented a direct showdown between Arnold and Sergio, preserving Arnold's victory in the status quo. 
Sergio Oliva's disdain for Arnold Schwarzenegger was well known. Fueled by their intense competition and the backstage politics of the time, Yet, this rivalry and the ensuing conflict with Joe Wider only added to Sergio's mystique, solidifying his status as a bodybuilding icon, unafraid to challenge the establishment. Sergio Oliva, the myth will always be remembered as a pioneer, a champion, and one of the most genetically gifted bodybuilders to ever grace the stage. His spirit lives on in the hearts of fans and athletes alike inspiring us all to reach for the stars and never back down from a challenge. Thank you, Sergio, for the memories, the inspiration, and the legacy. Your story will continue to be told, your impact forever felt, and your legacy never forgotten.